Hey, how you doing? My name is John Ruby, founder of Ashes Rubies and creator of the Life Lab. Life Lab is a spiritual journey. It's kind of like mountain climbing. Uh, there's a lot of energy that gets put into this climb. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of sweat, blood, and tears. And when we get to the top, we're going to have a spiritual awakening. Uh, this happened in my life. In 2005, I found myself on the streets. I was homeless. Uh, I went on my own mountain journey, and, and I want to really pass on the message to you. Uh, in the Life Lab, there's a 17-week series. There's a downloadable workbook, and uh, I'm asking you to get a partner, to get a pace setter is what we call it at Life Lab. Somebody that you can trust, somebody that you can meet with once a week, at, at least having a phone call conversation. This is somebody that you would do the homework with. Uh, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of digging, and uh, you really need somebody to hold you accountable on this 17-week journey. Uh, we look at this journey as kind of your heart as a corner store. Uh, it's filled with uh, life's happenings. Uh, maybe there's some Chef Boyardee from the, the 1940s and it's causing shame and embarrassment and fear and, and resentment. And so through this process, through this mountain climb, we're actually going to take a look at all these things on, on the shelf of your heart and uh, we're going to confess and we're going to get rid of them. And so where there was shame and guilt and fear, we're going to have this spiritual experience as we climb this mountain and we're going to uh, experience joy and peace. Hey, so join us on this journey, 17 weeks, grab a partner, grab the workbook, and let's have a spiritual experience as we climb up this mountain. Thank you. You know that show Intervention? And they go on an airplane to like Colorado. My loved ones, <laughs> they put me in a homeless shelter. Hey, you got ride. <laughs> Here are some uh, forms of denial. <laughs> I got a Joe Louie. It's like, woo! The things that block us from a healthy relationship. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. My whole life is fear based. It's, it's time out. Not for them, you. All these things, thank you for shutting me up. <laughs> That's really the importance of the behavioral sequence. And, really and they go, does this hurt? Does that hurt? Can you move this way? Do, can you bend that way? This isn't about fixing it, but it's about identifying where some wounding comes from. Because God is where the hospitals are. God is where the rehabs are. God is where the broken is. And because we're all inherently born to trust. Born to, like, I'm in danger, help me. The question is, what do you do to give away authority... And then why do you do it? Absolutely honest. And when I write down my resentment, I have to go, what's my part? Then you're snapshotting that perfect image that isn't real. The next class is putting this all together in one day. right? And you might not be perfect yet, but that's not the point. The point is, have you received the love of God to be able to give somebody else that hope? in a way that they can understand it? How do I be a useful tool? Hey, look at that, we're done.